Today we're going to install Plex on Docker through Portainer. That way we can use it to serve all of our media files throughout our home. One of the first things I like to do before I install any Docker container is check linuxserver.io to see if they host it. They maintain a very extensive list of Docker containers and they update them consistently. I always recommend checking the Docker Hub to see if Linux Server IO produces a container that you're looking for. In this case, they do. Um, so we'll be using the Linux Server.io version of Plex. So the first thing we're going to want to do is log into Portainer. Go to Volumes and create a volume for our Plex configuration data. After that, we can go to containers, click add container. We're going to call this container Plex and we're going to type in Linux server slash Plex. That'll pull the Linux server .io version of this container straight from the Docker hub. Now Linux server .io recommends that you use the host network for this container. So we're going to click network, go down to host. Now we'll click on ENV to add our environment variables. All Linux server containers require you to set the PUID and PGID to 1000. So we're going to do that first. Next, we're going to go to restart policy and set our restart policy to unless stopped. This will make sure that the container is always running. And then finally, we need to set our volumes. So the first volume is going to be the main application config volume. Um, so you're going to want to map slash config to the config volume that you just created in Portainer. Next, we're going to want to set a bind mount. And you're going to want to map the music folder inside the container to the location on your system that you have all of your music files stored. This goes the same for the videos. And you can name these folders inside the container anything that you want. It doesn't have to be music or videos. You can use the word movies instead of videos. And then we're going to click deploy the container. Okay, it looks like our container is successfully created. Um, we can access the application by going to our server IP. In this case, mine is 192.168.1.176. The port number for Plex is 32400. And then you're going to want to go to slash web. That'll take you straight to the web interface. And here we are. Now we've got your Plex server set up. Just scroll through and follow the setup process and you'll be good to go. Leave your questions in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. Thanks.